I have, I, I, I can say that my, my, my own life in, in, many, in many ways has been profoundly affected by my encounters with DMT. Uh, and those encounters have been mainly with DMT in the ayahuasca brew. And there are, there are important differences between the experience of pure DMT and the experience of DMT in ayahuasca. Nevertheless, there are also crossovers. Um, I, I had always, I suppose I'd always, um, I'd always been open to the notion of a spirit world, but I had no, I had no direct experience of it or what it, or, or, or what it might be like. Uh, but from my ver very earliest uh, experiences with ayahuasca, which were in 2003, um, I, I, I found that I, I could, I could no longer, um, I could no longer regard the material world in the same way as, as I had before. I suddenly was introduced to a, to a much wider realm Sometimes very scary. Uh, sometimes these experiences are very unsettling and and, uh, and 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 worrying. But what I compared it to was traveling, as I as I have done all my working life as as a journalist and as a writer, going to a completely strange culture that I know nothing of whatsoever and have no contacts in whatsoever, and having to find my feet there. That's what these experiences with ayahuasca were like. Uh, and I, I, I could not persuade myself, I could not persuade myself that these experiences were just fantasies of my brain. Um, they, they had a, an, an imminence and a reality about them that was overwhelmingly convincing and seemed important. It seemed, it seemed important to overcome my fears and to get to grips with this other reality and this, uh, and, and this other realm. And with the the beings that, uh, that inhabit it. Uh, and, and again and again with, with ayahuasca, I have, I have had the experience of a contact with, a, with an entity which is, which is loving in the... Love can be harsh as well as kind. Uh, sometimes love involves showing you the worst things about yourself and giving you the opportunity to, to, to fix them. And, and I feel there's a personality in ayahuasca, some kind of personality behind it. Uh, and I know that I'm not the only person who feels this. Many, many people who've worked with ayahuasca have encountered this, this being, if that's what she is, uh, who, who seems to want to teach you um, at your own pace. Uh, and sometimes the lessons will be painful and difficult. This experience of an, of an encounter with, a, with another personality who is a, a strict teacher, um, seems to be impossible to be to be just invented and concocted by by my brain and it seems to be an ongoing process there seems to be certain issues that i have to visit again and again and again uh, and until i get those issues sorted out i i'm not going to move forward and i do feel myself very much in the process of a course of study with with ayahuasca and i have come to the conclusion that i will uh, i i intend ayahuasca to be a part of my life and until i'm through with life on this planet um, I, I think it's been astonishingly ben beneficial and, and helpful to me. Um, I think that it's also, it's also, it's not just, it's not just a matter of experiencing entities and beings at another level of reality. It's also a matter of inquiring about myself. I find with, with my ayahuasca journeys uh, that the earlier parts of the journeys are intensely visionary uh, and, and, and I do feel myself transported into, a, into another realm. The latter part of the journey is much more personal uh, and I find almost a kind of process of life review going on where I look at different aspects of my own story and my own life and things that I've done people who I know or have known, the way that I've reacted to them, and, and I am shown the truth about myself in the starkest and most unforgiving manner. That, that here, actually, stripped of all your illusions, Graham, everything that you did to justify that particular piece of behavior, here's how it really was. Do you want to do something about it? It's up to you. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to act on these insights. Extremely easy to have them with ayahuasca, very difficult to act on them. Uh, but 
it seems to be holding out that opportunity. So, so there's a there's a sense of a, a vehicle for for, for self improvement in, in in this, which I again have found enormously valuable, and it's led me to change my behaviour. I have I, I have and I have still a tendency to lose my temper very rapidly and 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 say harsh and cruel things to people the people around me. What ayahuasca has done again and again is shown me incidents where I've done that, and it's presented me to myself in a most unflattering light. Previously, I've said to myself, of course I was right to be angry. Yeah, that person deserved what I said. No, that person didn't deserve what I said, and I wasn't right to be angry. And ayahuasca keeps on showing me this, uh, to the point where I, I, I'm obliged, I must change my behavior. I really, I really have to. Uh, and, and I've been working on that. I've been working on changing my behavior in that way. So. In every level, both at the, at the level of personal development as, uh, as a human being and in the sense of a contact with a wider reality, it's been a, an astonishingly helpful and positive experience and one that I would not wish to discontinue. Finally, on ayahuasca, very strangely, and I'm so grateful to ayahuasca for this, uh, it has uh, radically interrupted my uh, migraine cycle. I have, I've had terrible problems with migraines since I was uh, 17 years old. Really catastrophic migraines, which would shut me down for 48 hours at a time. And uh, then a, <coughs> a medicine was, was brought in, they're called triptans, which you, you take, a, take a shot, and it does actually work. But I found that I was overusing this medicine again and again, and I was getting locked into a cycle of taking these shots to stop migraines, then another migraine would start, I'd take another shot. First time I drank ayahuasca, for the first time in my life since I was 17, I went more than a month without a single migraine. Previously, I would be having 20 a month. It was just nonstop. It just was gone. And, and then it, it gradually came back. Then I went to the Amazon. I drank ayahuasca 11 more times. I had four or five months clear of migraines after that. Then again, in 2005, I went back to Brazil, had five more sessions with ayahuasca. Since then, I have, that's now almost two years ago, I've hardly had any migraines at all. It's just, it's just gone away. And I know that ayahuasca did that. So it's, it's a healing agent as well. As far as I'm concerned, that's my experience of it.